Jill, thanks for coming into my kitchen. We are going to have some fun today. We are making refrigerator pickles. Yeah, we are. So you don't need a lot of equipment. It's not like high tech. You're not doing heavy duty canning. This is refrigerator canning. So it's a whole different ball game and you're going to have so much fun doing this. I'll tell you right now, it's addictive. I want to show you what the equipment is you need. It's all very, very simple. Um, you're going to need, of course, uh, some jars. Now, any, I, I think glass jars is what you should use. I just happen to have canning jars. If you had like uh, mayonnaise jars with lids, you know, that would work. Peanut butter jars. But something that has a good, good tight fitting lid. And you're going to need a pot to boil your vinegar in and your water. And of course, just kind of a spatula to kind of dissolve all that. And if you're really sloppy like I am, you're gonna want a funnel. Now, if you think you can use a measuring cup or something and pour into your jars, great. If not, you might think about a funnel, but this is not a required uh, piece of equipment. And then of course, you're gonna need some measuring measuring cups and guess what that is all you're going to need to make refrigerator pickles I think we should get started we're going to start with making our brine which of course we have our saucepan and we're going to add some plain water a cup of that and then we're going to use a cup of distilled white vinegar which I'm going to measure here so it's a cup of water and a cup of vinegar Okay. And that's going to go in and a tablespoon of salt uh, <clears throat> I am a canner and uh, canning usually calls for a non iodized salt so that's you know what my habit is so I am using a kosher salt that's it that's it that's all you need for your brine so I'm going to be taking this over to the stove and I'm going to get it to where it's just just not quite boiling, just kind of a simmer because I want that uh, salt dissolved. And once I have that taken care of, we will be back. So today I used, this is strictly going to be pickles today. I have done carrots and uh, onions and cucumbers and jalapeno peppers. Any vegetable goes. And you know, I've done the vegetable mix, you know, with the cauliflower and all that, and they're just fab. But today it's just pickles. But the method is the same. But today I am using these little Persians, the little Persian uh, pickle uh, cucumbers. Uh, the English cucumber would be really good as well. I would stay away from what you would call, I guess, your traditional uh, salad cucumber. But either that English or the little Persians are the ones that you would use for pickles. So, um, why don't you come on down here to um, the table or at the counter. What I've done is, is I've chopped up, uh, sliced a bunch of, of these cucumbers and I've done them, you can slice them any thickness you want, but this to me is kind of a traditional thickness that you would get in a jar, right? And I've sliced up about two cups. My brine is done and it is cooling. And what a little tip I will give you is knowing how many pickles uh, or cucumbers or vegetables you're going to need, I kind of do a sample packing. So what I do is uh, when I figure out how many jars I'm going to want or how many cucumbers I have, right, I go in and I just do a, just do kind of a, a sample pack, okay. Now you do want to pack them down pretty well. So this really is, this was just about four cups, three cups really of cucumbers and you need about a half of a cup or half of an inch of head space. So this really <clears throat> is about right for a jar. I'm going to pack that down a little bit, but that's just about right. So now I know that about three cups of cucumbers will make a pint, right, of dill pickles. So I'm just going to put those back. But what we do now is we get to have fun. Well, we get to put our seasonings in. Let me wipe my hand off here a little bit. You can use fresh herbs if you like. I happen to have just dry ones. Um, I'm going to use some dill, right, because that's kind of a traditional, right, dill pickle flavor. So I'm just going to drop a little of this into the bottom of my jar. Let me get this one out of the way here. So just this was a quarter teaspoon, maybe almost about a half a teaspoon of uh, dill weed. And then, you know, sometimes like Clausen's pickles, they have kind of a pickling mix and that's what this is, is a pickling mix. And I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of that. And then I also have 
And of course, you can do whatever you want right in these jars. I also have some thinly sliced yellow onion, and I'm going to put a little of that in there. And then I'm just going to put a little fresh uh, garlic. And I want to amp this up a little bit, so I'm going to throw in some red chili. Now, there is some in that pickling spice, but you know, we got to go for the gold, right? So now that is done, and I'm going to go ahead and you know, put the put the cucumbers back in this uh, jar. So all those are in there. We are ready for that brine to uh, cool down just a little bit. It should be warm. You know, you want to start with really clean jars. Wash them well, and uh, or put them in your dishwasher. But you want to make sure they're good and clean, and the lids as well should be good and clean. You always want to start with clean things, clean hands, clean counters, clean jars. And if you've ever done any kind of really regular traditional canning, you know how important all that is. So I think we're good right there. And all those goodies are down there at the bottom. So once my brine is cool enough to pour in, we'll be back. We are ready to move on to the next step. As you, you saw me do the uh, insert there, I put the onions and the pepling spice and the garlic and all that in there. Well, this one, I just put some of the dill and some onion and garlic and I left out the pickling spice. So we are ready now to put the brine in here and the brine has cooled off too. Well, it's, it's warm, it's warm. And in we go and hopefully we are gonna have enough brine here for both of these jars. I'm gonna do one of these numbers. Well, one of those technical glitches, right? I didn't have my microphone on. I do now. I've put the brine in this jar, as you can see, and I'm gonna move around here to the little one, and I should have plenty of brine for this one as well. Oh, definitely. Okay. Now, it's gonna settle down there a little bit. And you don't need to run a knife around the edge and try to get all that, uh, those little air bubbles that might be in there like we normally do with our normal pickling. As I said, if you're a, a person who does canning, you know these little rules. So I'm just gonna pack that down a little bit and take just a little more in here. And I think this one is looking really good. I'm not gonna put any more in that one. All right, and now I'm going to Put the lid on, make sure it's nice and tight. And I will be putting a date on these jars so I remember when I put them in the refrigerator. So these will go in the refrigerator. They're cool enough to do that. And oh, you gotta give them a good three days. I know it's gonna be really hard. You know, the recipe says you can, you can take them out in a day but that's too early. I would give them three days and, and they're delicious. Now, don't expect a grocery store dill pickle. That's not what you're going to get. You're gonna get crunchy and fresh. It's delicious and I think you're going, I love them. And I, it's like I said, I'm kind of addicted and I've done the mixed vegetables and they were fabulous and now these I'm doing for the second time. So they're a winner. I will tell you, I got this recipe from the Oregon, uh, University of Oregon's uh, extension center and I will just leave you the link down below in that description box you can link right onto that uh, a recipe and actually it's an amazing website they've got recipes for everything in there so I'm just going to leave that for you they're awfully good I really hope you give this recipe a try and you saw how simple it was all right that's it we're out of here from pickled central thanks a lot for watching if you like what you saw and you like cooking and you like vegan food, why don't you go ahead and subscribe and I hope to see you again. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.